Assalamu alaikum viewers a very warm welcome to you all today we will get to know about duchenne muscular dystrophy that is dmd now what is dmd duchenne muscular dystrophy is a genetic disorder characterized by progressive muscle degeneration and weakness due to the alterations of a protein called dystrophin that helps keep muscle cells intact dmd is one of four conditions known as dystrophinopathies lack of the dystrophin protein in muscle cells causes them to be fragile and easily damaged Now let's see what are the carriers of DMD. DMD carriers are females who have a normal dystrophin gene on one X chromosome and an abnormal dystrophin gene on the other X chromosome. Most carriers of DMD do not themselves have signs and symptoms of the disease, but a minority do. DMD is caused by changes that is mutations of the DMD gene on the X chromosome the gene regulates the production of a protein called dystrophin that is found in association with the inner side of the membrane of skeletal and cardiac muscle cells now let's see the effects of DMD DMD affects the shoulder and upper arm muscles and the muscles of the hip and the thighs These weaknesses lead to difficulty in rising from the floor, climbing stairs, maintaining balance and raising the arms. Now coming to the DMD symptoms. The DMD symptom onset is in early childhood, usually between ages 2 and 3. The disease primarily affects boys, but in rare cases it can affect girls. Muscle weakness is the principal symptom of DMD. It can begin as early age as age 2 or 3, first affecting the proximal muscles that is those close to the core of the body and later affecting the distal limb muscles that is those close to the extremities. Usually the lower external muscles are affected before the upper external muscles. The affected child might have difficulty jumping, running and walking. Other symptoms include enlargement of the calves, a waddling gait and lumbar lordosis that is an inward curve of the spine. Later on the heart and respiratory muscles are affected as well. Progressive weakness and scoliosis result in impaired pulmonary function which can eventually cause acute respiratory failure Now let's see the life expectancy in DMD Until relatively recently boys with DMD usually did not survive much beyond their teen years thanks to the advances in cardiac and respiratory care Life expectancy is increasing and many young adults with DMD attend college, have careers, get married and have children. Survival into the early 30s is becoming more common than before. Coming to the prenatal diagnosis of DMD. Prenatal diagnosis and carrier detection of Duchenne muscular dystrophy usually can be performed using DNA analysis. Now what is the status of DMD research MDA supported researchers are actively pursuing several exciting strategies in DMD such as gene therapy exon skipping stop codon red through and gene repair Now coming to the treatment options of DMD corticosteroid therapy that is Prednisone and Diflazacote is only effective pharmacologic treatment of DMD. Daily prednisone treatment increases muscle strength and function, improves pulmonary function, 
and significantly slows the progression of weakness. Now the good news is, on 25th Feb 2021, the US Food and Drug Administration granted approval for a Mondes 45 Casimersen injection for the treatment of Duchenne muscular dystrophy in patients who have a confirmed mutation of the DMD gene. Thank you all for your time guys. Don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon as you can get all my new video notifications. Take care. Allah Hafiz.